It may not look like it, but it is getting to be springtime in Montana. Even though we still have a ton of snow on the ground, the days are getting a little bit warmer and it's not super cold at night anymore. I am still a little bit behind on the horse's trim schedule. My back is feeling loads better and I've been trying to do one horse every day and today we're gonna catch up Stewie. I think this nice weather has little Gus thinking that he's gonna go back into work soon. He is one that gets really jealous when I take the other horses out. It's around three o'clock and these guys look like they still have some of their breakfast left. Somebody asked me in my last video why I don't use big feeders for these guys. And I've honestly seen too many accidents with horses getting their legs stuck in them and then they can cause a lot of respiratory problems. People love those big bale barns and round bale feeders, but they do cause a lot of the horses to suck in dust and debris that they wouldn't if you just fed them on the ground. I'd much rather waste a little bit of hay than have to haul these guys into the vets for pneumonia or getting big lacerations on them. So that is why I don't use a feeding station out in the pastures. It's been at least a month since I caught up Stewie. He has been groomed since then, but I usually just groom them out in the pasture. Even though there's snow on the ground, there is mud underneath, so Stewie is definitely finding places to act like a little piglet. And this stuff is just crusted on him today. I'm gonna try my best to get it broke up with this little rubber curry comb. It's getting to be around 40 degrees for some of the days and it needs to be around 60 for me to feel okay giving these guys baths. Come here. What are you doing? Tiny has been out and about a lot more with this nicer weather. She did come over to supervise what I was doing today. Stewie is actually the only horse that I've ever seen Tiny climb up on and not run away. I did also have him out with Nigel for a little bit last summer. They got along really well, but I was afraid Stewie was going to jump out of that pen I have for Nigel. The fence isn't very high. And I am just about done getting all the nasty chunks off of him. A few of the horses have started shedding already. Scarlet is really losing a lot of her hair. Stewie hasn't quite started yet. But we are definitely getting closer to real spring. For anyone new to my channel, Stewie's mom was a BLM Mustang, so he has unbelievably hard feet. And they do grow crazy fast. He is about at 10 weeks, which is a lot longer than I usually let these horses go. Stewie has extremely thick hoof walls, so he can get a little bit overgrown and his hoof will still stay intact. He is probably the easiest horse I have to trim. He stands really well and he doesn't have any problems or real distortions within his feet. If you caught the video of me trimming little Nigel's feet, Stewie gets his feet trimmed a little bit differently. I take his hoof wall all the way down to the sole. I really don't need to leave him any extra hoof wall to stand on. And if I did, his feet just grow so fast I would be trimming him all the time. My nippers were getting a little bit harder to use and I noticed that Stewie actually broke a chunk out of them. I've had these nippers for at least 15 years. They are super well made and I've actually had them refurbished twice now. Every time they get refurbished the blades get a little bit thinner and I think there's a few chunks missing out of them now. I was anticipating having to buy new ones and I did order some a few days ago so they should get here pretty soon. Here I'm just rounding off the edge so his hooves don't break away which they hardly ever do because they are so strong. Tiny came back to make sure I was staying on track. Stewie is a little bit fat and out of shape so I did give him a little bit of a break in between the first two and the last two hooves that I trimmed. Stewie. 
Another thing that's different between Stewie's trim and the trim I put on Nigel, I don't leave Stewie any extra heel. Since his feet are so hard, they don't really wear away even if he is slip sliding around in the mud. So for Stewie, I usually take him as short as possible. I've had this little horse for years and I've never seen him go lame from hoof issues. So that is one of the benefits of him having some Mustang blood in him. The only thing I really have to do is clean up his bars every once in a while. I think he's going to be upset when he realizes I'm just trimming his feet and we're not going to do anything else fun today. Stewie is one that I will start getting back in shape pretty soon here. So I need to make sure his feet are in tip top shape. His frogs were getting a little bit weird so I had to take some of the little dangly bits off. You can see in this view how thick his actual hoof wall is. That is going to be the very outer layer that is black. After all that excess hoof wall is gone, I just use my rasp to make sure his foot is balanced. And we are finally on the last hoof for Stewie. His back feet don't really grow very much length. I probably really should have trimmed him a little bit sooner because he was getting a lot of heel and it can distort their foot if you leave it too long. He is the opposite of Skeletor who grows hardly any heel. I am just about finished with Stewie, just a few more little things to tweak. He was starting to get a little corn back there that I took care of. I'm just going to put a very slight bevel on this guy's hoof wall. And his hooves look like they shaped up really, really nice. This is quite a bit of length to come off in one trim, but Stewie easily grows three times as much hoof as all the other horses. He seemed a little bit bummed to be going back out in the pasture. I think he really wanted to do some work, but I've been checking the weather and I think in a couple days I'll be able to start training in on some of these horses. I'll give you guys a look at these nippers. He definitely took some chunks out of them today. I might send these out one more time to see if they can fix them, but if not, they had a pretty good run. If you guys are interested in seeing Stewie's entire hoof trim start to finish, I am going to post it in a different video. It is more of an ASMR style video with no talking at all, so if you're interested in that, I will link it in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.